Nice to see you, sir. Thank you, Tracy. Um, as we drive around, would you agree or disagree that we definitely need to invest in transportation? That's a big part of both business and also individuals. We do need to invest in transportation. We have to make it a priority, but we need a pro proposal that's going to be cost effective and get the job done in the shortest period of time. So what was happening here? Take us back for just a moment because in June there was a pretty expansive and I would say emotional board meeting that took place when the board voted on what? The gold line. Right. What you have is a proposal for the San, San Gabriel Valley mm -hmm. uh, to complete the gold line from Pasadena to Claremont and working with San Bernardino County taking the line to Ontario Airport so we can have a regional airport servicing the needs of the people in the county of Los Angeles. But the city of Los Angeles, Mayor Bill Garosa, is opposed to expanding that goal line by having his people vote against this proposal. Now, we had a, a suggestion from Congress that they would work to get us $320 million for that segment of the goal line if the MTA would put up $80 million. Well, the city of Los Angeles said no, because they want to put their money into a subway to the sea to go to Santa Monica in a subway, which costs about four hundred and fifty to five hundred million dollars a mile we can build the goal line to claremont for one point four billion dollars that's twenty four miles the city of la wants to spend about six billion dollars to build ten miles of subway do you think it's much that he's against the goal line or he really sees that we need this subway to the sea so he wants to make sure there's plenty of money to fund that project what he wants is the san gabriel money to fund the subway to the sea. He wants the San Fernando Valley, the Antelope Valley, Santa Cruz Valley, the South Bay to fund that subway to the sea. How does this happen, Supervisor? Because there are 13 board members. Talk about the structure, if you would, for a moment, how a vote happens like that. Because the city of Los Angeles has four votes. The other independent cities, 87 of those cities, they have four votes. And then the five supervisors sit on that board. Well, Supervisor Molina and I, along with Supervisor Kanabi, were opposed. Yeah, Molina abstained, correct? Uh, oh. Molina spoke against the sales tax and abstained on the vote. Uh, as Council Member Fasana from Duarte and I voted against it. Mm -hmm. And Supervisor Kanabi, who was against it, his granddaughter was being born, or grandson, and he missed the meeting because he was at the hospital. But the city of Los Angeles wants to use L.A. County's money. The, 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 the resources that are generated in our local communities to subsidize their transportation programs. And it's my position, if they had the sales tax and it was approved by the voters, then it should be based upon the equity f formula within those areas so that the dollars are being generated will be used in those communities to meet their transit needs and put in cost-effective public transit systems. So let's, let's talk about how the flow works here, because obviously it was approved by a majority, so now it has to go to a state legislator, and a state legislator has to be in the form of a bill, and that bill then would be placed on the November ballot for voters to vote on, right? Well, the procedure is the Board of Supervisors now have to vote to place it on the ballot. Now, Supervisor Molina and, and I believe that we have the right to reject that proposal because it's flawed. But we're also being told that we have to automatically approve it because it's an administrative function. We're checking the legal uh, actions on okay, that. Okay, so stay tuned on that. Stay tuned on that. And we have to do that by uh, in two weeks from Tuesday. Then uh, the state legislature it has a proposal that will allow us to have that sales tax and with particular projects in place. But that state legislation is not providing the direction to complete the goal line. It's not providing any opportunities to build a, a transit system from Union Station to, to the Santa Cruz Valley with a uh, line into the Antelope Valley. And he, they're cutting off all these various communities to sub for a subway that is not cost effective and just a real big pork barrel legislation that will add to congestion. Thank you for your time, sir. Thank you. For Local Edition, I'm Tracy Young. Now back to CNN Headline News.